Welcome to this tutorial about linking your Milestones Professional Schedule to Primavera. The first thing you'll need to do is export your Primavera information as an MS Project XML file. We have a page on our website that shows you these steps in more detail. In Primavera, you go to the File tab and choose Export, and then make sure you choose MS Project Schema XML. You will also want to make sure that your export template that you choose is exporting Activity ID into the Text 1 field. Once you've got your information in an XML file, you can link your milestone schedule to your Primavera information. There are two methods to do this, either by importing your whole file in the Connections tab, Import Schedule from XML File, or by manually adding symbols and linking them back to Primavera tasks, which is what we'll be covering in this video. In Milestones Professional, tasks are linked by putting an ID in the start and finish symbols of those tasks. Each symbol will need an ID and also what type of date field that symbol represents. So if I want to link this invisible finish symbol to activity ID EC1000, first I need to click on the symbol, and then in the Selection tab, I go to the Symbol Links sub-tab. And then I'm going to click on Create Edit Tag for Refresh. Now I can put the ID that I want to link it to, in this case, it's activity ID EC1000. And then I choose which type of date field it is. So if I move this dialog box, you can see we selected the finish symbol. So we should pick finish for the date field. And I'm just going to change those first two options and then press OK. Now we can do the same thing with the start symbol. So if I click on that start symbol, It'll already have the symbol link subtap selected, and then I can also go to create edit tag for refresh. I'm going to do the same thing here, except I'm going to choose start. So EC1000, it's a start date field, and I'm also going to add some symbol text to this. So I'm going to choose the name field, and it'll bring over that name field as a label on the symbol. And then press OK. And then you can see both of those tags were built. So EC1000, comma, start, comma, name, and EC1000, finish. Now both of these symbols are linked. And if I want to get the correct dates for these symbols from the XML file, I have to go through the refresh process. So if I go to the Connections tab, click on Refresh Previously Imported Project. And then I'm going to choose Refresh from Project XML file. And then I'm going to choose the XML that I exported from Primavera and press Open. And on this screen, this is the Refresh Options screen, you'll need to choose Text 1 as the refresh using, since Activity ID should be in Text 1 in that XML file. We're also going to choose Refresh Symbol Text and update only symbols with symbol text tags so that way, on the start symbol, it's going to bring over that name field to that symbol text. I'm also going to choose Highlight Change Dates, and then I'm going to press OK. So it lets you know two symbols got updated, and the date range was not updated since we did not choose that. You can also see there's an orange box around these symbols that got moved, and that's the refresh highlighting. Um, if you have that checked, you can always turn it off in the Connections tab with the Refresh Highlighting checkbox. It's just a visual way to see which symbols got moved when you did the refresh. If any of your dates change in the Primavera file, you will just need to re-export that XML, and then you can go through that refresh process again and get those new dates. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.